What's going on guys? Briar Rabbit here. Last night, the Planet Destiny team and I completed the King's Fall raid and I thought it'd be fun to make a video today about my loadout going into the raid as well as my loadout coming out of the raid. Kind of the, the things I learned about my loadout for the raid specifically and how they changed. So we're going to start off with the stuff that I went in there with and then I'll show you guys the stuff I came out with. Before I begin though, I want to tell you there's going to be a ton of raid videos coming from me in the very near, near future, in the next hours, days, weeks. We're going to be talking a lot about this raid because it's really fun, it's really exciting, and it requires a ton of strategy, teamwork, cooperation. I love the new raid, it's really epic. Uh, so look forward to that in the near future, but for now, let's take a look at this loadout. So this is essentially how I started the raid. I went with a Sunbreaker Titan, uh, and I had an auto rifle, a shotgun, and a rocket launcher. This auto rifle, the deal breaker, it served me well throughout the entire raid. I really, I have new respect for this auto rifle. It, it was just an absolute DPS machine uh, for a ton of the raid. Uh, there were a couple of uh, parts where I really could have used a good scout rifle for longer range engagements, but a sniper rifle, switching to a sniper rifle really helped me out for those parts. This thing's got Army of One, Rodeo, and High Caliber Rounds. Rodeo and High Caliber Rounds really helped this thing out. Uh, I, I'm really happy about this auto rifle. It just served me super well. Uh, next, the shotgun conspiracy theory D. This is a reward for completing a quest in the story. It's got range finder, lightweight, and performance bonus. Didn't use this much. By the end of the raid, I had pretty much switched to this fusion rifle, the Celesto fusion rifle. This thing does massive, massive DPS. It shoots a basic fusion rifle shot, but those fusion rifle bullets, if you will, stick to your enemy and then blow up for a second round of way more intense damage. This thing did massive damage to ogres, to bosses, to whatever I was shooting at. It was a DPS machine. I absolutely love this gun. I'm so happy I got it. I can't wait to get it fully upgraded. Uh, it's going to get even better. Next, the Choleric Dragon SRT-49. This thing had uh, tripod and tracking rockets. Didn't use it much, I'll be honest with you. Uh, there weren't a whole lot of opportunities to just sit there and DPS something with a rocket launcher. What came in way more handy was this machine gun. Unfortunately, I didn't spend as much time leveling it up. It's, it was only 283 attack, but I found that having a great machine gun in the raid was really useful in a number of situations. The sword, again, didn't use it that much. There were a couple of opportunities, especially right at the end of the raid, where it's definitely nice to have at least one guy in your raid team that has a sword. But the machine gun was my go-to weapon for the majority of the raid. Uh, as far as armor goes, I had basically just a regular helmet at 290 defense. It wasn't too special. I liked that it had super energy from non-guardian kills and bonus grenade energy, uh, but uh, nothing too special here. The immolation fists, however, uh, because I was a Sunbreaker, these things came in handy quite a bit. They give me increased intellect, help me earn that super a little bit quicker. Rain blows increased melee attack speed. Auto rifle loader to help me load that auto rifle a little quicker. And the main perk, Accelerant, unlocks the Sunbreaker subclass node, Explosive Pyre for free. Enemies brought down by your hammer explode, chaining fiery solar damage to other enemies. It just allowed me to take out mobs super fast uh, and it became made the Sunbreaker really great at creating orbs and at uh, taking out mobs. So it was it was really, it was nice that I had that exotic sitting there waiting for me. Uh, this chest armor ended up being super key too because it gives me uh, more armor for a solar based subclass uh, and the leg armor gives me increased agility for five seconds after a solar double kill. So uh, both of these were custom for a solar titan uh, and that was really useful. So how did my loadout change? Well, I pretty much stuck with the auto rifle all the way through uh, until I picked up the pulse rifle. <laughs> this is a Smite Amurian. Um, I love this thing. I think it looks beautiful. I mean, it looks beautiful in like a disgusting way, but it doesn't look like anything else from uh, Destiny. Uh, and the perks are really interesting. Cocoon, when stowed for a short time, this weapon is automatically reloaded from your reserve. So if you switch to your sniper rifle or your shotgun, then switch back, it's gonna have a full mag. 
That's super useful. Hand loaded, lightweight, reinforced barrel, and danger closest weapon gains increased reload and handling when two or more enemies are in close proximity. So pretty good perks on this thing and it just looks amazing. Next, I used the Telesso a ton, but I was rewarded a very cool shotgun. This is the Raid shotgun, solar damage, Cocoon again, so if I switch between the pulse rifle and the shotgun, whichever I switch back to is always going to have a full mag. That's useful. Hand loaded, lightweight, hand laid stock for increased stability or decrease and reduced range, which not super good, but hand loaded is very good, lightweight is very good. And life leech, three rapid kills with this weapon heals a small amount and starts health regeneration. That's kind of what you want in a raid, right? That's pretty good. So I'm pretty excited about this shotgun. All right, uh, I already talked about the machine gun quite a bit, so I'll leave that one be. Uh, I did switch to a Defender Titan every once in a while, so I did use the Helm of Saint-14, but the only armor I got from the raid was this. This is War New Men's Boots, and uh, we should probably switch to No Shader to show those off properly because I think, whoops, I went all the way out there. What you can see is they look a lot like Crota's end gear, uh, but they're kind of whitish instead of the other darker colors. I, I like them a little bit, um, but the perks on them are actually pretty good. So you get increased discipline or increased strength, sniper rifle ammo or machine gun ammo. Both of those are gonna be very useful in the raid. Fist flying, gain a boost to agility per melee kill, stacks for 20 seconds. Solar Double Down, increased agility for five seconds after a solar double kill and run for your life. Increased agility while torn between dimensions. So you'll know what this is gonna be useful for when you actually do the raid, but it's definitely gonna be very useful. And of course that 304 defense, that's awesome. So that's my loadout. Uh, I did get some rewards. Suit Pearl Titan Artifact gives me 310 defense. Very good. I gotta say, it was, a, it was a really fun raid. The loot rewards were epic. Uh, you do get a couple of extra things for uh, completing the quests associated with it, like this shader. It was quite a bit of fun. So that's my gear going into the raid and coming out of the raid. I gotta say, I'm pretty excited with what I got. I can't wait to get back into the raid next week for Tuesday Raid Night. Let me know what you guys got. Have you completed the raid yet? What'd you get from the raid? What kind of loot did you get? And are you happy with it? Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.